Hello everybody. To the internet, I am best known as JM on Cars for very good reason. I have spent the last six years building up a YouTube channel documenting my passion of all things automobile related. However, there are other things in my life, some of which came before cars, that I'm still very, very passionate about. Those include things like cooking, hi-fi, computing, gaming, not that I get much time for that these days, and films. It is in fact films which really was my very, very first love because I had a family that were really into them and were very keen to show me all of the films that made their childhoods so exciting and special, which in turn made mine, I think, just that little bit more enjoyable. I then decided to turn this passion of mine into a career. I went to film school where I learned how to become a cinematographer and spent the next seven years of my life working on a whole range of low budget and independent shorts, features, music videos, and the odd very small bit for TV too. Though I became somewhat jaded with the industry, at no point in time has my passion for films gone away. If anything, now I've stepped away from the production process, it has only grown. A few years ago, I had an idea to start a YouTube channel about films, combining my passion for movie watching with my knowledge of movie making. Unfortunately, the timing wasn't quite right, so that got shelved. But now I'm revisiting that project and intending to create a series of videos as part of the JM and Friends channel talking about my love of film and also a little bit about the industry too. Recently I've heard a lot of people talking about the fact they simply don't enjoy the movies anymore and that's really two things, the films themselves and also the movie going experience. So today I'm going to share with you four of my top tips for enjoying movies just a little bit more and hopefully helping you rekindle a passion for cinema. So. Let's get started. Number one, see better movies. This may seem blindingly obvious, but I see a lot of people complaining about the fact that all that is in the cinema is just a constant stream of superhero movies. The fact is, that's not true. There is plenty of other stuff out there. Sure, maybe not as much as there used to be, but there is good stuff out there. And quite simply, if you stop watching all the stuff Marvel pump out, they will be forced to make something a little bit different or perhaps a little bit better. But if you do go and see every single Marvel movie on release day, which I do, they will still keep making them. And sadly, they aren't really getting any better, are they? Happily, in the last couple of years, we've seen a trend growing for re-releases of old movies, some of which I haven't seen yet, so I like to see them in the cinema if I can for the first time. And there's also a lot of stuff out there which is probably a really good film, you just didn't know about it because they didn't have the advertising budget of Marvel and the like. So check your local cinema listings, see what's on, see what sounds a little bit unusual, go give it a whirl, sometimes you'll be very disappointed. The card counter I took a chance on earlier this year and that was easily the worst film I've ever seen, but occasionally you will be surprised. So try a slightly different film, go and watch something that normally you wouldn't because occasionally you might actually find yourself really enjoying it. Number two, and this also may seem quite obvious, watch the film. Even if you're at home, try not to be on your phone during the movie. Filmmakers spend an awful lot of time and effort packing every single frame of the film with lots and lots of information. And if you're kind of watching it like that, you are going to miss lots and lots of things. It never fails to surprise me how many people in a cinema are checking their phone constantly. Look, if you've got a family member in hospital and you're waiting for an important call, that's fine. Have your phone on. But when it rings, just go outside. Don't keep checking it every 10 minutes. You'll be annoying your fellow cinema goers and you'll also be missing the film, so ruining it for yourself. There's a lot of films I've seen where in the first few minutes something really important is told, but then you just miss it and therefore the rest of the film doesn't make really any sense at all. Watch the movie. In fact, one of the reasons that I go to the cinema is it's one of the times where I force myself to not look at my phone for a couple of hours, and so it's a kind of mini holiday. I really enjoy it for that reason. Thirdly, and this is a real big one, if you are going to go and see a nice big blockbuster movie, the latest Matrix, and I'm sorry if you did go and see that, or a Marvel film, or Star Wars, or anything, pick a better screening. Don't go to your local sort of five screen multiplex at four o'clock on a Thursday afternoon. No, 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 no. 
Go into central London or your largest near city. Go at midnight for the very, very first screening. It should be packed and it should be filled with a great audience. A number of years ago, I lived in London, and when I was there, one of the things I was determined to do was attend a midnight screening. I was fortunate enough that I actually got to go to a whole bunch of them. And the audience you get for a screening like that is so different to the audience you get for pretty much anything else. It's absolutely amazing. It's like watching a live sports event. It's fantastic. Even when you're seeing a film that people have already watched, it's still brilliant to see the way people cheer and clap or boo for the villain. It's fabulous. It's like theater rather than film. It electrifies the whole place and can really, really elevate the whole experience. One of my annual traditions is to go and see Die Hard at the Prince Charles Cinema in London, which is one of my favorite cinemas in the world. It's a very small venue with only the two screens, neither of which are particularly amazing. But it's the people that I go for, both the staff that work there, who are very friendly, lovely, and passionate about cinema, and also the movie goers, because they also absolutely love films. They have a constant stream of really cool and interesting stuff on. If you live in London and haven't heard of the Prince Charles, you really are missing out. You have to get down there. I am a member of that cinema. Don't go anywhere near as much as I should, but it's one of my annual trips to go there. And if you want to join me for that, comment down below. Tell me you'd like to come along for my Christmas Die Hard screening because I'd love to get a load of channel fans down there to just enjoy the majesty of cinema. And trust me, when Alan Rickman appears, he gets a near standing ovation. It's a fabulous thing to do, even though you know exactly what's going to happen at every moment in the film. It's still brilliant. They also tend to play a lot of stuff off of actual film. So for a long time. Die Hard, they screen from a 70 millimeter print, and that just adds to the whole nostalgia of the thing. Seeing the, the little scratches and dents and the little wobbles in the audio, it's just fantastic. So, so enjoyable. If you aren't near London, maybe you're near Manchester, maybe you're near Edinburgh, or if you're abroad, you know, I've gone and seen films in Berlin, I've gone and seen them in New York, I've seen them in LA. Find your nearest really big city find a midnight screening, go there, see the very first screening of a film that you can, a big new film that's about to come out, and just, just enjoy it, just revel in the atmosphere. And maybe the film won't be very good, but the experience will. And last but not least, and this really is the biggest piece of advice I can give to anybody for enjoying films. And I think really the reason so many films today are just not that enjoyable. Don't watch trailers. Seriously, do not watch them. The only times I see trailers are when I'm in the cinema. And sometimes I quite enjoy seeing them because it tells me what's coming out soon. But seriously, trailers now come out like over a year before the film does. So you start to get very, very familiar with the footage. You begin to know what's going on in the film. People start talking, people start discussing, people start guessing. Sometimes I guess that can be a little bit of fun. But for me, modern trailers just ruin far far too much. Batman vs Superman got an absolute critical mauling, and in some ways it did deserve it. The Ultimate Edition I actually quite enjoy, it's a much improved film. But the biggest issue that film had was the fact the trailer ruined everything. There were basically no surprises left in that film had you seen the trailer. And that to me just defeats the whole point of a trailer. In fact, I'd love for you to comment down below and tell me what the best trailer ever is that you've seen, because I think it should be something like I know this is going to sound nuts, Frozen, because it didn't really spoil anything about the film. Or Stan Winston did an amazing preview for Terminator 2, which just showed you the Terminator being built and gave away nothing of the film. Trailers like that are what we should be seeing. And let's face it, with the amount of money that Hollywood has and spends on its films, they can afford to spend a million on a really cool trailer that's very exciting, that doesn't give anything away. If anything, that was about the best thing about the new Star Wars films, the trailers didn't really reveal anything whatsoever, certainly for Force Awakens. You could watch that trailer and you didn't really know much about what was going to happen. It's amazing the number of film buff people I know that send me links to trailers and I'm like, why are you watching this? Why are you watching this? You're spoiling the film. You're spoiling it. Don't watch it. I've never really understood it. It's like those magazines in the news agents that spoil all of the plot lines for next week's soap. Oh, Nikki gets shot and then John falls off the roof. Like, well, I, I don't need to watch the episode now, do I? I know what happens. Like, pff, I really, really don't understand that. I never have. That's a, not a new thing either. That's been going on for like 25, 30 years. I don't know how you encourage people to watch a TV program by telling them what's going to happen in it. I, I don't get that. 
Anyway, there's a short little video I hope you've enjoyed on four different ways I think you can improve your cinema going experience. And I'd love to hear in the comments your best or worst cinema experiences. Thanks for watching. And if you've got any ideas for future film related video topics, please let me know. And I'll see you for the next one. Bye bye.